Hello YouTube, Super V Power here again, and this time I'm going to be talking about the Lamy Scribble 0.7mm Mechanical Pencil. This is a pencil that I got a few years ago, and I actually used it a lot for jotting notes, basically. Apart from some little gripes I had about the packaging when I got it, I really, really like this pencil, and while I may not recommend it to everybody, it is definitely one worthy of consideration if you're looking to step up your game and try something a little bit different. So I'm going to take a look around the pencil and tell you all the attributes of it that I think are cool or not cool or whatever and how it writes. It's got a black plastic body and this is a, not just regular plastic. It's not like your standard Pentel plastic or anything like that. It's actually something I think similar to what they use on the Lamy 2000. It's not quite Macrolon because Macrolon is not exactly what you would make a $37 pencil out of but it's definitely something you'd make a $100 fountain pen out of. Either way, you can kind of feel the groove where the plastic was injection molded. However, it still feels very nice in the hand. Up top, we've got a very understated Lamy logo here with a not very springy clip, but it's good enough such that you would be able to put it on your shirt without it tearing a shirt pocket. We have a 7 indicating that this is a 0.7mm mechanical pencil on the cap here. This pencil also comes in a 3.15 millimeter lead holder style with sort of indented edges. I wasn't really a fan of the indented edges and also not a fan of the fact that that 3.15 millimeter lead seems to be proprietary to Lamy, as is their habit. So I went with the more standard 0.7 millimeter lead diameter. Underneath the cap, similar to the Lamy All Star and many other relatively high end mechanical pencils. We have a small eraser, but a needle to clear out lead jams. And this eraser is held in a sort of a cap, so that means if you run out the eraser, you're not screwed over if you want to change the lead. And also, if you run out the eraser and lose the cap, you're not going to lose all your lead out the top unless you lose uh, this outer cap. Moving on down, we see that it's got this nice bowed shape, and here we get to something that I really wasn't too thrilled with. As I hope you can see here, you'll see these lines across the pencil. That's because the way this is held in the box is with two plastic clamps that the pencil sits in. And in shipping, it sort of rattled around, causing these scratches. These were there when I bought it. So I was not too pleased with that. But it also means that now that the initial scratching has been done, any damage that I'll do to it under normal use won't really ruin the finish any more than it's already been ruined, so it encourages you to write with the pencil. That's my theory, anyway. Up top, we've got the standard conical shape of the point, and it looks a little bit awkward, but not really too bad. And, of course, a 2 millimeter flighting sleeve, so this is not necessarily good for drafting or anything you need to ride this pencil along a straight edge for, but that's not what it's for. It's for scribbling notes and jotting down things that you want to remember, or just quick doodles. That's what the scribble name is all about. This is just a couple of clicks of lead, so yeah, certainly not a precision drafting instrument. Very easy to retract, and very pocket safe. Overall, due to the ruggedness of the pencil and its overall nice shape, fit, and finish, I would recommend this to somebody who is looking for something a little bit different. However, if you're looking for something to get you through that next big essay or through a marathon set of homework problems, your hand will cramp up before you can say ouch. So I would not recommend this for long periods of writing. All right, now that I've done all the talking, I'd like to do a little bit of writing and show you how this pencil actually lays down lead. I think this is the original lead that came with the pencil. I haven't used it all that much. So here we go. This is just a couple of clicks of lead. One, two here. The first click was to extend the lead sleeve and also the first bit of lead. So it's really just one click if you think about it. So yeah, it lays down lead pretty nicely, and it's relatively comfortable to hold. 
even if you're holding it with the clip against your hand because of that nice curve in the clip. If you want to remove the clip, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is take this off, unscrew this ring here, and then the clip just comes right off. And it's got a little flat surface there so that it easily locates to the correct position when you want to reinstall it. So let me just see what this looks like without the clip really quick. And that ring goes all the way down flush to the body if the clip is not installed. So yeah, now you can definitely hold it as though you're holding a sketching lead holder or something similar to that. I'm not super good at drawing, especially not through camera viewfinder, so bear with me. But as you can see, it's pretty comfortable to hold. So yeah, there you have my review of the Lamy Scribble. I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Super V Power in another pencil review. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Till then.